Everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for another contest video. There's a lot of those going on in the comic book community right now. The current one that I'm putting together is for Timothy, the Canadian comic hunter. Uh, it is his comics contest. I don't know if there's any specific milestone involved in this, um, or if it's just time he feels that he should give back to the community as I believe what he said. Anyway, welcome to the community. Thank you for giving. He is asking two different things. Well, actually he has three requests. He wants you to show top five artists. He wants you to show a grail book in your collection. And he wants you, for the third thing, to draw a picture of a superhero. So here's my plan. This video is going to be shot in two parts. Um, I am going to be presenting the comic books in the first part of this. And then we're going to see whether or not I can pull off what I have in mind. Um, it's been a long time since I've done any drawing. And I have a plan. If you look at right in front of you, this wonderfully decorated Gotham City... Harley Quinn Anniversary Short Box. They've done all the decorating for me. Uh, I believe it's BCW that does these boxes here. Normally, they come all this wonderful stark white. What I am planning on doing is I am going to create a uh, centerpiece on the top of this box in order to create a superhero picture to decorate one of my short boxes. So that's the plan. We'll see how that turns out. That will be the second part of the video. I'm probably going to wind up uh, grading this into four parts. It's always easier for me if I know I'm not doing art, if I'm trying to do a picture. If I break it down, it's a little easier for me to do, or you are going to get stick figures. Anyway, that's the plan. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'll try filming it and probably, you know, uh, speed it up as I'm doing it. We'll see where it goes. But anyway, that is a plan for here. So, that'll be the second part of the video, which I will splice in with this. So, the first part. Top five artists. I am going with... Some I continually repeat myself, and I don't like doing that. And I've changed up a few of the comics that I present with respect to this. But I can't pass this one up. Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man number one is one of my favorite covers of all time. Uh, Todd McFarlane is one of my favorite artists as well. So I thought I'd show this off once again. This is one. Second one. These are four more modern, modern books. I suppose this is also technically a modern book since it's 90s. But it's right on the cusp of bronze. I think is that what they're calling it these days. Anyway, Greg Capullo, another wonderful artist and one of the comic books that he is currently involved in is Reborn. Third artist, he said, I haven't mentioned in another video, and if you haven't caught the video, great, I'm not repeating myself, but these next three artists I have shown off before, and these three books I pick up because... Not only do they have great stories, but they have incredibly wonderful art. Joe Benitez, Benitez Studios, uh, Lady Mechanica, Steampunk, love it. Sana Takeda, Monstrous, great artwork in these as well. One of the big reasons why I'm picking these books up. And uh, Jerome Pena. From Seven to Eternity. Like I said, the artists here are all pretty much the biggest reasons why I'm picking up all these books. Once again, Jerome Pena, uh, Sana Takeda, Joe Benitez, Greg Capullo, and 
Todd McFarlane are the five I'm going to mention in this. And there's lots of others out there. Those are uh, that I could mention. Um, I can only stick with five. So that's the five I'm going with. Uh, I said largely because um, the work of these five artists are primary reasons why I'm picking up these books. And the next one is what is your grail in your collection? Um, okay, how about if I put it this way? The book I'm about to show you, everybody wants, everybody has, everybody uh, looks to try to put in their collection. It's probably the most valuable one I have in my collection. I could be mistaken. I haven't actually gone through my collection in that, in that respect to find out what's what and what's worth what. But anyway, um, and it is a grail. Most people want this book and want it in a high grade. But here's the catch. Technically, for me, it's not a grail. Um, because as a teen, in the 80s and 90s, I loved reading my X-Men comic books, and I loved the New Mutants. And you might know where I'm going with this. I bought all of these off the shelf. I wasn't chasing a grail. I was chasing a book that was the next one in the line of the books that I was collecting and enjoyed reading. It just so happens because it's really popular right now. And because there's movies being made out of this character. That it is a grail these days. But I didn't buy it as a grail. So it isn't a grail for me. But it is a grail within the comic book world. Um, and of course that is New Mutants, number 98, first appearance of Deadpool. I said once again, I bought this off the shelf, not chasing it as a grail, but it was it added to my collection just as the next in the very few, well actually, it's a, what, there are only two more issues after this and then they turned into X-Force. But once again, first appearance of Deadpool. Very popular right now because of the character of Deadpool, of course. So you also have Domino in here and Gideon and... Yeah. Anyway, this is the book that's probably the most valuable one in my collection. Like I said, it wasn't the uh, intent of my purchase of this particular book for it to be a grail. Um, but yeah, it probably is in my collection. Unless I go through... I said, I really, really, really need to go through and and value and sort through and bag and board everything I've got but that takes time and I'm slowly doing it but it takes time so I hope that answers your question that is the one that I have in my my collection that would be considered a holy grail probably the most valuable one I have in my collection at this point um probably need to have this thing clean and pressed and sent off to get graded and whatnot but hey um haven't gotten that far either but I hope that answers the questions. There will be another part to this video in which I will be trying to create a picture for you as well.
Subscribe if you want to watch more. Feel free to leave any feedback or comments down below. Go check out, is it Timothy, the Canadian comic hunter? The link will be in the description down below. And thank you for watching.